All right, so I've been holding off on my first video for a fun Mavs win because I want to start this channel off with a fun Mavs win. And this is definitely one of them. We beat the Hornets 96 to 120. Uh, no Lamelo or Luca, so lacking some star power. Uh, KP, let's start off with him. First of all, saved his career with that block. Oh my gosh, if he got put in that poster, we wouldn't have been seeing that for years. Miles Bridgers, highlight reel. This is a breakout season. That would have been everywhere. Everywhere. I'm so glad he got that block because I don't want to see KP being put on a poster all the time when he's been having a great season. Um, to continue with him, he had that block and four others. I want to say this is the most block he's had, blocks he's had this season. He had a really good first half, kind of disappeared the second half. I don't know if we really needed him in the second half. The first half, he was just, he was everywhere. He, he had a, he had a double-double in the first half. I mean, I legit think he scored two points and grabbed one rebound in the second half. Uh, and he ended up with 24 and 13. Um, he was everywhere. He was active. He was getting fed in the post. Um, he disappeared in the third quarter, uh, which I feel like happens a lot to KP. I think partially that is because he is a very momentum-based player, and I feel like he heats up a lot of times at the end of the second quarter, and the, that halftime just kills him a lot of times. But, you know, maybe I could be incorrect. Maybe just defensive schemes switching at halftime because that's part to do it. I know that, I noticed they started doubling him, and he had trouble responding to that with Kelly Oubre and Miles Bridges doubling him. But... That's neither here nor there. He played really well in the first half. That's all we need him to play for. Um, next, I'm going to go on to Trey Burke. Uh, he had 9 for 14 shooting. He was plus 24, 22 points, 6 assists. Man just couldn't miss. Crossed up someone. Played super well. I don't have much love in my heart for Trey Burke, to be honest with you. I don't really get him. But uh, one thing I will say to him, he distributed well. He did score his buckets well. He's a bucket getter. And he didn't do his stupid Trey Burke things. I saw it run through his mind. I believe it was a Gordon Hayward dunk. It might have been Miles Bridges. It doesn't really matter. It might have been Kelly Oubre. And I remember, I, I've seen this movie thousands of times. Someone's going in for an easy dunk. Everybody else just lays off it, you know, no, lets the dunk happen. And Trey Burke just runs in, all 180 pounds of him, six feet tall, grabs the guy and the guy just dunks it anyway and it's a foul and then it's a free and one and I'm just like dude what the hell are you doing I saw in his mind he was like I need to do this and then he held off and didn't do that it was around the third quarter probably around the five minute mark I want to say might have been the first second quarter five minute mark and he didn't do that and I was so happy that made me so happy that Trey Burke didn't make a dumb defensive play all right on to Josh Green this is the third player I want to talk about um, and this is more of the discussion of this video. Did we give up on Josh Green too early? You know, Josh Green, he has a lack of confidence in shooting the ball. And by that, I mean decisiveness on offense is what I think it is. I don't think he shoots the ball unconfidently. I just think he has a lack of confidence to take a shot, which is a big difference. And I would rather have the lack of confidence to take a shot than doesn't shoot the ball confidently. You know, you can just tell the guy to shoot. You can feed him confidence, get him open looks. Uh, I saw Trey Burke, got him an open look. Josh Green passed him back, and Trey Burke was like, dude, what the hell are you doing? Um, I wonder if part of that is because Carlisle and his rookie situation. Carlisle hates rookies. Uh, Josh Green was a Carlisle rookie. And I don't know if there's much more to say there. Josh Green didn't get much run last year. It feels like when Josh Green did get run, he was on a short leash. He was not allowed to shoot. And I don't know if that's what Josh Green brings us. Josh Green's a great cutter. He's something that we don't have on this team. He, Not many people on this team, except for our bigs, can roll really well to the rim and cut and make the ball and make the off-ball movement that he does. If he can get that jumper down, he's going to be scary, especially with his defense. One thing I also noticed, I, I, I noticed the last two games, he, he can rebound the damn ball. Holy crap. He just seems like he's there all the time. He's really hustling out there. He's a he's an energy jolt. I know everybody throws around that term, but I love it. He just sparks some energy. Um, lastly, I want to talk about Moses Brown. He didn't get much run today. Um, that's partially because the Hornets ran small ball almost the whole game, and Moses is not the big you want to put out there for small ball. But Moses has been playing really well the last couple games when he's been having his chance without Willie. He's definitely uh, proving his point that he should be in the lineup instead of Willie. 
He's been looking way less lost out there on any given possession. Uh, and one thing I've also noticed that has been ecstatic to me is he hasn't been slipping his screens anymore. I feel like the Mavs have a lot of bigs that slip their screens. Uh, Willie, including one of them, KP does it half the time. Really, the only one that really does it is Dwight Powell. Um, and maybe Maxi sometimes, but Maxi slips usually when he pops, which is about 50% of the time. Uh, but Moses, in the last couple of games, have not been slipping these screens, and he's been setting really good ones. I wonder if that's why he wasn't getting the run, uh, is because he didn't know how to set the proper screen correctly, maybe, or they didn't know how to play him. But I really hope he gets more. He had, uh, I don't know if he has butter hands on that last two possessions where him and Josh Green just didn't connect together twice. I don't know whose fault that was. Those were just ugly plays, bad looks for both. Um, other things I want to talk about is Tim Hardaway made his shots. Uh, Bullock made his shots. Finney Smith was making shots, put the ball on the floor a little times. Everybody looked good. Jalen Brunson did Jalen Brunson things. You know, we got Boban. The f crowd wanted Boban. We got Boban. Uh, this game was just super fun. You know, we rebound the ball well. We played great defense. We we did everything right, especially without Luka. This would have been a shellacking with Luka, I think. That's an amazing. I, I legitimately think we could have won this game without Luka and they had LaMelo. I think we played that well. Uh, obviously, you can't prove that. I don't know the story of the game at that point. We might not have gone off to a 10-0 start. Um, other than that, you know, we have the Lakers on Wednesday. I'm really excited for that. I hope Luka's back for that, hopefully. Because I don't know if we have this performance in us two games in a row. I really fucking hope we do because this was a lot of fun to watch. And I think if we run with this much pace against the Lakers – for how old they are, that might be a problem. I really do want to see a lot of Josh Green and Moses Brown in that game for that reason. Speed up this offense. It seems like whenever we have them in, we're just running so much more. And I feel like that's conducive. Another thing I want to talk about is the Trey Burke-Jalen Brunson combo. I don't get why Frank hasn't gotten his run taken away, you know, his minutes. I feel like Jalen Brunson... I get it today because we needed Burke off the bench more than need Kalina. Um, but... I feel like when Brunson's coming off the bench, we really don't need Burke as they provide similar uh, scoring opportunities and such. And Frank does the defense that we need. Um, and that's one thing I hope I see coming back is more Frank minutes as he's coming back into the rotation. I wonder if he's still a little bit injured and we're just easing him back in. Uh, and my thing I want to leave it off is... Is Sterling Brown going to get minutes anymore? Or is it the Josh Green show? Or is Willie Colley Stein going to get minutes anymore? Or is it just... Is this the new era of Josh Green and Willie Colley Stein? Or, sorry, Josh Green and Moses Brown. I, I sure hope it is. Um, this is my first video. I'm going to leave it off on that. Thank you for listening if you are. Buddy's uh, convinced me to do this. And there's probably just going to be some fucking video game clips on the back. That's probably what the videos will be from here on out. Thank you, guys.